As you know, India is celebrating 75th years of Indian independence, Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, and today we are here to celebrate the 73rd Republic Day. It gives me immense pleasure to announce that the students of grades 9 to 11 are going to present a skit based on national issues. Good morning. It is a glorious day for India. But to my mind comes a question. What is Republic? Okay, now I will tell you the answer. Republic is a form of government where the head is elected by the people directly or indirectly. Our Republic is a constitutional Republic. That means rulers have to follow the constitutional provisions. India became Republic on 26 January 1950. Dr. Rajendra Prasad became the head of Republic of India. For making Constitution of India, a body was created. That is known as Constituent Assembly. Let us remember those great men and leaders and their great work in making and shaping Constitution of India. I want to ask you a question. Who was the eldest member of Constituent Assembly? It was Dr. Sachidanand Sinha. He was the eldest member. He was the most experienced and learned person. Let us listen to what Dr. Sachidanand Sinha had said in the Constituent Assembly of India. Now, Dr. Sachidanand Sinha's word will be narrated by Abhas Yadav. Welcome, Abhas. Today, on this 73rd Republic Day of our country, India, I want to remind this present generation about the basic idea that constitute republic. Now, I would like to quote Joseph Story, the American jurist who was quoted by Dr. Sachidanand Sinha in the Constituent Assembly. The quote, Republics are created by virtue, public spirit, and the intelligence of citizens. They fall when wise are banished from public council because they dare to be honest, and profligates are rewarded because they flatter the people in order to betray them in future. Dr. Sinha also spoke lines of poet Iqbal, which brings the essence of India's unique culture. Those lines are, Yunan o Mr. Roma, sam mid gai is jahan se, baaki abhi tak hai namo nisha hamara, kuch baat hai ki hasti mitti nahi hamari, kuch baat hai ki hasti mitti nahi hamari, sabi ho raha hai dushman daure zama hamara, jai hind jai bharat. In the same assembly, Pandit Nehru had resolved. Pandit Nehru, quote from narrated by Manish Kumar Mandal. It is our firm and solemn resolve to have an independent sovereign republic in India. It is bound to be sovereign republic in India. Questions have come, why you haven't put democratic word here? Republic may not be democratic, but history of India is history of democratic institution, obviously. We are among all democracy and nothing less than democracy. Here is now Somnath Lahiri, who was also a member of Constituent Assembly of India, narrated by Shalom Varghis. I must congratulate Pandit Nehru for fine expressions, bold words and noble words. But the point is, when and how you are going to apply that challenge? What did Patel, very eminent member, had said? Let us listen from Sukul Kumar. It is no use saying that we ask for separate electorates. We have heard it long enough. Result of all this, we have seen creation of Pakistan. So we should have general electorates with universal adult franchise. Understand it? General electorates with universal adult franchise. Hansa Mehta, prominent lady member from Bombay who demanded justice for women and not reserve seats or separate electorate. Anitita Kishan will quote Hansa Mehta's opinion on men and women. We have never asked for privileges. What we have asked for is social, economic, and political justice. It should be based on equality, mutual respect, and understanding. Without it, real cooperation is not possible between men and women. Thank you. Now, Harshul Kumar will tell us about Dr. Ambedkar. We must make all political democracy a social democracy. Political democracy can cannot, pol political democracy cannot uh, exist without social democracy. Social democracy means a way of life which organizes liberty, equality, and fraternity 
as principles of life. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. I hope the Republic of India, its students, teachers, and citizens will give respect to these immortal words given in Constituent Assembly of India. I, on behalf of all the participants on the skit, I would like to express a heartfelt thanks to Naveen Chha sir, Sachidanand sir, and Ma'am Sushma Yadav, under whose able guidance we were able to learn so much and successfully put up the skit. I hope that this presentation was not only enjoyable, but also a great learning experience for all the students. Thank you and enjoy the Republic Day.